What we got here today is a 2006 Ford F650 Super Truck. You've heard me say this before because we've had a lot of six door and eight door stretched custom trucks. But it seems like each time they get a little better and a little better. This one here, legitimately, other than a very nice excursion that we just had, this is probably one of the nicest builds we have ever had. And when you say that, most people just think about how much stereo it has and how much custom stuff it has. But when you actually are in the building of the truck game and know what to look for, you can appreciate a lot of things, such as obviously this did not leave Ford as six doors. If you can tell where they stretched it at, you're a miracle worker because there are no signs at all of cuts and welds. Everything is just as clean as it was from the factory. All the seals, weather stripping, everything has been installed properly. And there's no wind noises or issues that we have noticed whatsoever on this truck. Very few have a sunroof because these were obviously usually pretty basic trucks, but this build was a no expense spared build when it was built new. We've washed this truck and that's all we've done. We have not even had a chance to detail it, so you're looking at a raw video basically as this truck rolled in, aside from a quick wash job. It was just driven close to a thousand miles in transportation, so it hits the road fine. And the coolest part about this truck well, a couple cool things. One, it's non-emissions. It's a 2006. No DPF, no DEF. Nothing to leave you on the side of the road. It's a Caterpillar turbo diesel engine. Very tried and true in this year range. And then the fact that I was getting to is this is a full air ride suspension truck. Not just an air ride cab or an air ride seat like most people claim that's air ride. It's, it's air ride, but it's not all air ride. This truck has an air ride cab with shocks that are adjustable. It has an air ride front and rear suspension as well. It has a full four link system, such as what Kelderman uses. This could even be a Kelderman truck possibly. Adjustable MX-6 shocks, airbags, Michelin tires, 22.5 alloy wheels. It has the extended polished stainless tanks. I think this truck holds 100 gallons per side. And then it has a storage tank, uh, storage on each side of the tank. One side has batteries in it, the other's just complete storage. And of course, you can see the rear airbags. Spray and bed liner. Track vision system, if you can see that. Has a PlayStation in it. Has rear headrest televisions. The bottoms of the seats are all color matched to the flames on the truck. Has the full back bench seat, overhead TV, DVD. Truck runs out great. Air conditions ice cold. Push button Allison transmission. Gauges. Pretty much everything on this truck is custom. Obviously has been garage kept, has the wrenched in front headlights from a later model truck. The flames are painted on, but they're very tasteful. They only go into the second door. So if you wanted to wrap this truck or put a logo on it, it would be extremely easy to cover that up. Build cost on this new, if you add every option that it has, you're looking at about $200,000. 
And yes, you could say, okay, that's a lot newer truck for 200 grand. That's not a bad investment because they do sell them quite often. So people are spending the money. But the difference is you will not get a new pre-emissions truck. They'll never make pre-emissions again. So the old school trucks are becoming harder and harder to find. This truck has around 80,000 miles, so it's extremely low miles. It sells itself. I don't have to sell the truck. These always do. When the right person comes along, they know what these things cost and they know what the rarity of it is. But for this truck to have the low miles that it does have on it, it's priced extremely well for what you have sitting here, especially considering replacement cost and replacement time. You probably would be looking at almost a year of build time if you took one of these trucks from stock currently. Last I checked, uh, the big manufacturers that build these are, are almost a year out. So, if you're going to guard in the process, you could get one quicker. Of course, money talks. I'm sure you could spend $250 and have one in a couple months, but it does take time to build a truck this nice and clean. You can see the body lines on this truck are all absolutely perfect. Kudos to the builder. This was a heck of a build. Usually there's always a, a slight bit of negative here or there, but other than this one needing a, a detail, there's not a negative to speak on on this truck. We will be using this truck throughout our boat deliveries and boat events. So if you do want to take a look, please call ahead. There's a very good possibility that it will be off-site. We'll be happy to accommodate. We also can ship to any of the 50 states or even outside of the country. So if you have interest in this truck, if you want it transported to a border or to a port or to anywhere in the 50 states, let us know. We'll be happy to assist and get you a quote. If you have any other requests for pictures, videos, or details on this truck, just let us know. Thank you.